about sea fishing only. Right, I'm never gonna see fishing for us. Max has just pulled in this, not even five minutes after being set up. <laughs> nice little ras. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Bigger than ones we've been catching over there. I just had a bite of mine, but he's got me in a snag anyway. Oh no, you see it going that? I gotta get him. Two seconds, guys. Oh, did you get it? Oh, you got him. Go on. Max has got a uh, ballon ras. You're out fishing me. How many you had now? Six. <laughs> I've caught nothing. Yo, look at the eye on him. Look at that eye. Look at his like, orange, like fiery orange red. It's awesome, look. Look at that hard as well, man. The it's only a like... little small one. Yeah, I know, but did you see the rod? Yeah, that's sick. I can't get over his eyes, though. Look at his eye. That's mad. That's sick. Yeah. yeah. Fish, they? Yeah, get him and hook him. Yeah, chuck him back in. Right. Now maybe I'm going to get something, I'll give it a go guys, but we'll see what happens. Right, I've finally got a fish guys. About time isn't it? On the, uh, I've got to tell you what we're using anyway. Hang on, let me get this guy on hook quick. Oh, right in the face. Ah, he's finally. Right. Look at that. Look at the colours on him. It's like red and like neon blue, brown. Gorgeous colours that, look at it. Fantastic. Do you want a photo or do you want to try Nah, you just spy me. You can go back. Watch the door. Yay. You can go back. You don't look that big down there, do you? No, not really. Oh well, let's get some big ones. Sorry about the wind noise, guys, if you can hear it, but I'm just running through what gear we're using. Yeah, this one was, yeah. This is a new rod from Par Angling Centre. They wanted me to try it out. It's a 12 foot beach caster. It's called a Grand. How would you say that? Grandy Slam? Grand. If it's got an E at the end, is it silent? No, so Grand Slam Carbo Strike Seamaster Beach. Has a casting weight of 2 to 8 ounce. It's quite fat, really. And also they do a combo, 30 pounds as well. You get this fatty reel with it, with about 30 pound line on it. So you can get some fat fish on this, you know. It's good. Hold it up that little ras little. Uh, hold it up that ras quite well. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. I've just got a fucking flapper rig on with a weight on it. <laughs> yeah guys, um, using flapper rigs for the ras. Bit of ragworm, we just got some lugworm. Using bolts because it's snaggy, but then we've also well, I don't know if you are, but I've whacked out a bait out there with some peeler crab on. Let's see what happens there. But yeah, let's try and get a big bass. We don't have a big one in ages. So stay tuned, guys. Fish. They're not big. Maybe when that tide comes in. Hopefully they'll get bigger. Yeah. There you go. It's just like the other one I just caught, guys. It's smaller. Gorgeous colours on these rats. You should get yourself out there and do it. Ready again? Another little one. It's about to call like the same one like three times now. <laughs> it does look like it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, you bastard. There we go. Look at that. Look how he's look. Uh, look at that. How he's look. Just on the jaw. Just slides out like that. Oh. Max has got a little ras. Oh, he's foul oh, hook, boy. Is that the same one again? <laughs> We've had like the same colour walk cork green ras like five times in a row now. Can I hook him? Can you spray him again? See if he'll come on. Can't fill up. There he goes, guys. Back in the water. Lovely. Rebait. Cast it back out. Oh, Max, you haven't told everyone what you're using. Tell them now. No, no, start from the rod, reel, line, and on the business end. Rovex Lure Pro. Okay. You need to shout a bit because of the wind. Rovex Lure Pro, Puma Custom Spin, uh, with 
15 minutes? I think it's 19. Yeah, it's 19. You so, sure? Yeah, because I was the one who put it on for you. Oh, fucking hell, I thought it was 15. Uh, and then, yeah, a flapper rig with Uptide Vikings. Uptide Vikings? What size? One O's. One O's. And then what about over there? I've got a, what was it, a stiffy 150 spin? Cheap Some one. cheap rail, isn't it? And then what you got on the bottom of that one? Uh, Ragman! And another flare for rig. Oh yeah, I'll record this one now. Just watch Max's rod tip look, guys. It's a bit thin. See that? It knocked there. Knocked again. And look at that. Oh no. Alright, it'll rebate anyway, guys. Stay tuned, hey, guys. Max just pulled in a corkrin. Oh! Oh, easy fella. Right. Here's Max's. That's, normal, that's what we've been, normal that's what we've been <laughs> catching. And then there's my one. My one's quite fatty. Yeah. It's quite a chunky bit, isn't it? Lovely colours on on there, look guys. Look at that. Fluorescent blue, orange, red and all that. Look at him. Beautiful fish. Look at the tail. Anyway, getting released. Days. Get yours released. Happy days. Let's get the fat ones. I <laughs> love catching them. Look at the eyes. They fight really nice as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Just look at them colours on his gill plates. Stunning. Look at that. Yeah, look at the tail. Look, look at that bit there, guys. Stunning colours. It's like a flame there, look. That's sick. Anyway, we'll show you how to do it. So, all you need. I don't need to go as beefy as me, but if I get a big one, then it's ideal to have a beefier rod. But Max has just got a little spinner. He's happy with it. All we do. Is that over the Facebook I've, page? Yeah. <laughs> I've done just your main line to a flap rig. I've done a tutorial on how to make these. Uh, yeah, just smallish hooks. Max is only using size one worm hooks, look. The barb there and the barbed up here as well to hold the worm on. And then nuts, because you don't want to lose your lead. Skirt to your local garage. Happy days, they'll give you some. I'm sure they will. But yeah, there is a tutorial how to make these. They're very, very simple, easy to make. Yeah, easy, easy. And then you get a fish like that. Are you taking a picture of this one? You are. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Take a picture. Yeah, that's all you need, guys. Just watch the tutorial, make some of these, get yourself some bolts. And the ground's gone in, chuck them in. Oh, you almost chucked your rod in. <laughs> He's gone anyway. And the grounds you're looking for, guys, are like this. Because the rats will be in and out of these weeds. You will get big ones in here as well. Yeah, that's why we're using bolts. We don't want to get snagged up. So what the rats like to do, is they'll take the worm and they'll just go back into the snag. That's what rats like. They feel safe in the seaweed. Yeah, look, you can see all sorts of little fish down there, like little pollock, little rats, sand eels, all sorts. But yeah, that's the ground you're looking for, guys. It's ideal you have a patch of sand and you can cast it onto so you can see the fish come out and grab it. It's brilliant there. And that's what we're using. I'll show you the bag of them. You can use different types. You can use... We find worms are the best for ragworm. No, worms are the best for rats. <laughs> <laughs> Any worms will do. Lugworm, that's what we're using. So we ran out of ragworm. The ragworm's just as good as lugworm. We do prefer ragworm. Yeah, we do prefer ragworm because it's cheaper, but we also do dig up our own lugworm. It's a fatty, isn't it? But yeah. Hopefully, we get a bigger one. I'm happy with my cork bean wrasse, so it was quite a big one. Anyway, back to fishing. Woo! Max has got a cork bean. Get him up here. Nice size. Well, uh, what's my tea? What's my tea? I'm getting salt water in my tea. I swear that's the same one. <laughs> I just have one of these. Nah, mine's a little bit bigger. Lovely cork ring though. I just love the patterns there, look, look at it. No, the Ollie, and the patterns are on here. Later. Yeah? yeah? Right, Max will upload these photos to Facebook anyway, guys. I'll put the Facebook link in the description if you want to check it out. We've got some nice photos on there of like the sceneries of where we fish and that. And the backgrounds, the sunsets and all that. Oh. Yeah. So check out the Facebook page. I'll put a link in the description for you. Stay tuned. Oh, nice. yeah, lovely 
lovely bit of weed as well. Yeah, nothing wrong with a bit of seaweed. If you've got a fish on the end, you've got to have seaweed on Okay. Good job, we get bites. Um, two secs, I'll just give you a share of this, guys. on the floor guys because he is going to flick there you go told you he's going to flick right. there he is look beautiful colours yet again nice little cork print he's a red one that one was I like the blue ones that's him gorgeous back he goes now I'm casting out a bit further because I'm trying to get the bigger ones, but it doesn't mean that you won't get bigger ones by your feet. But I just say as a further out you go, the bigger they are. So I get baited up again, guys, and then hopefully I can get another big one. I said not even. <laughs> not even a pound. No. There you go, guys. This one is a ballon. Because the ballons. They're not neon colours really, and they don't have a little black spot at the back like that. And usually the ballons are a lot bigger. Yeah, the nice biggest little... one was quite like bluish. Yeah, I it? know. You can just tell though, once you start fishing, you know what spot. Yeah, look at that lovely brown colour. <laughs> well, oh, oh. <laughs> stunned him. Out. Off he goes back into the weed. Look. See how well they're camouflaged. Yeah, it's Our angling centre gave me these hooks to try out. I think they're £3.20 for like a box of 50. Size 4 Aberdeens, very sharp. There you go, just caught myself a nice ballon mass. On this one I've got a Uptide. I have caught more on the Uptiders, but hey yo, try something out. So they're the hooks I've tried out. They catch, the rod holds up very well, reel. Nice and chunky, pull it up the wall. I do, 30 quid guys. Get yourself a nice beach casting setup, up there. And I reckon that'll hold up a nice fish as well. Hold up a nice eel that will. No, I'm doing that. Show you how far I'm casting. If you can see because of the sun. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about the wind noise. You can just hear the wind. There I go. Slack a bit, just do it slowly. Go, feel it tighten. Even and then, there. And then wait for the bite. And that's it. Let's get him. Tinty. Oh, look at the colours. Look at the eye. Also, I keep going a little further. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to keep him as a pet, he was so small. Anyway. I caught him on. Bit of juicy lugworm. Yeah, I know, but I'm just going through it again. Bit of lugworm, that. Flap a rig. You're good to go on the right ground. Let's go get him. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice cool cream. We just had a double whammy, guys. Max is clearly a lot bigger than mine. Mine's blooming tiny. Again. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely my PB uh, RAS there. That is huge. Anyway, chuck that monster back. Do you want to chuck yours back? Ah, uh, Max, gonna get a photo of his, then he'll chuck it back. Oh yeah. Just pulled in this nice little cork. Nope, not cork wind. Ballon RAS. The gorgeous brown colour. Look at the eye on him. That's sick, isn't it? Just the, like the patterns on them, man, they're just unbelievable. Yeah, I love my rass fishing. <laughs> he took almost took the rod off the harbour. <laughs> yeah, almost. There you go, little fella. I will put the picture on here as well, guys, so you can get a better look of him. Go swimming down there. All right, we ain't got many worms left. How many you got left? Like five. <laughs> Okay, maybe we get a big one with these. They've been bigger, the rats, so that's good.
stay tuned that's going to be a wrap on the video now guys lots of rats today lots and lots some quite big as well especially the cork winds, but no big, uh, no big balloons unfortunately they've been bigger than what we've had usual but hey it is what it is so yeah that's how you rass fish guys get your worms get your flappery get your bolts find some rough ground and you'll be laughing if you wanted to know where i got my beach caster from and all my reels and stuff that i've just bought well got recently that i've been using to catch a rass today i'll put a link in the description for the par angling center if you want to go down there and get one yourself absolute bargain they are and they're fantastic i reckon it will hold up a nice fat fish yeah it's only 30 quid for a combo and you've already got your line on it so you don't have to worry about putting line on it and the line on it already is about 30 pound anyway so you're all set to go for a big fish cast like a beauty get your gemini weights there and that your baits everything Power angling center guys i'll slap a link in the description right now so if you like the video guys like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one